Alright, good evening everybody. It's the night of the second game in the Backyard Baseball League Play Playoffs. And if, all, if everything goes well today, it should also be the last game in the playoffs. So before we start, I have good news, bad news, and neutral news. I'll start with the neutral news. The neutral news is I am no longer using Google Chrome to have Twitch open and keep an eye on chat from. I'm using Firefox instead which hopefully uses less CPU, which means my stream will hopefully crash less from now on. I don't know for sure, though. Could just be exactly the same as normal. That's why it's neutral news. The good news is we have a new emote. The Tony emote has arrived, the master Tony emote, uh, made by my older brother. He did an amazing job, and it is now available for use. And it's, it turned out really well. I'm really happy with it. But then that leads into the bad news. The bad news is... Twitch allows me to have free emotes, however, they're tied to different tiered subscriptions. If you want to access all three of them, Twitch is going to force you to have to subscribe at tier free, which who in the world would ever do that? I don't know why anyone would do that. If I had it my way, I would let anybody who just follows this channel be able to use the emotes. But it's there. You can use your channel uh, watch points in order to redeem them temporarily if you want to use them. And if you join the Discord server, all of the emotes are there to use for free. So... That's that. Having got that over with, let's play ball! All-Stars game number 16. Still facing off against the monsters, and I can't... Okay, the, the Rockets. The Rockets were the one team that we lost to. Shoutouts to the Rockets for actually being the team to beat us. Alright, let's check the scoreboard. Not the scoreboard. Let's check the team strategy. Alright. Pete's a really solid center fielder. Keisha's right field. Tony's left field. I like that. Yeah, Lisa's a great pitcher. Dimitri's rocking the first base. You know, like, like I've said, if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. And thus far, everything seems to go be going pretty well. One thing I am going to do is change the batting order. Jorge, I'm going to move farther down. I'm going to move Jorge down here. Because he has not been very good in the at-bat. So, the less I have to bat with him, hopefully the better. Maybe that'll backfire, we don't really know, but hey, it's the last game of the playoffs, we can lose this one, and it's still fine, we get another shot, because it's first to two. Hey, Prince Dusk, welcome! <laughs> Alright, let's play ball! Here we are again, ready to kick off another baseball extravaganza! Sunny day here, along with Vinny the Gooch, welcoming you friends of the feather to another edition of Baseball Madness! Playing in today's game are the Junior All-Stars and the Humongous Monsters. The score is 1-0 in this playoff round, and folks, this could be it. If these kids perform well today, it's on to the Super Entire Nation Tournament. If not, they'll be battling out the tiebreaker. And now it's time for the action to begin. Let's show the All-Stars what their fans are made of. Oh, YouTube is down? That explains a lot, because, like, the last few videos I've tried to look at have not loaded properly, but I thought it was an issue on my end. Oh, the YouTube servers are just down in general? Oh, that's kind of crazy. Well, luckily Twitch is still working. Luckily I don't stream on YouTube. Tournament hype! Hey, Mello, welcome! Let's play ball. Pitching today is oh, yes, so we're at bat first. Nice. Dynamite. We get six Girl innings of batting instead of just five. Here comes all right, Pete, you... St oh, no, all the stats, I believe, reset again. I'm gonna hit a touchdown. Then again, I don't think Pete actually made it on base at all last game, so that he could just have a natural zero batting average. It's fouled back. No mm, boy. We're off to a good start, eh, Pete? <laughs> I could try bunting, but that generally backfires. Uh, well, I'm definitely not bunting now. I feel like when Pete b bunts, it's like a 40% chance that he'll actually make it. Oof, strikeout, that's not good. Man, oof, Pete, Pete's been off his game lately. And by that, I mean, I'm not playing well with Pete. Here I go. Oh, yep, sure enough, Kenny's batting average stayed, so Pete's just been sucking in the tournament. That's okay, Pete's been doing good at fielding. From the windup, comes to the plate. The wing. Oh! Kenny, if you get on base, this will be glorious. But you won't. It's okay, Kenny. It was a good effort. Let an out shake you up. 
These kids have to keep their cool. You know, if that if that was actually a line drive, then he might have been able to get on base, but I saw the line drive and he had a grounder. And Pablo, that is an extremely bad batting average. One way or another, we're going to fix that batting average of this uh, bat. Because that's not a number I particularly like. And the offering. Okay, that's a foul. Nope. That's a foul. No, nope, Pablo, don't don't run. Don't waste your juice, Pablo. Oh, yeah, Prin you, you know, we're all rooting for Tony to do well. Absolutely. Into the wind up pitch on the way. Swing. A pooper in foul territory. Pablo doesn't do well hitting open. Is the game really just going to make Pablo exhaust all of his juice before he can actually do anything? Because that would, that would kind of suck. Here's the wind up. Here's the pitch. That's all. Darn it. Too high. Well, they got us good first inning. They got two strikeouts. But that can actually work in our favor, because that means they get special pitches that we can potentially hit and get special bats from. She's looking to show these batters a thing or two. Fernando Diaz steps up to bat. Yeah, if we're rounding to the nearest thousandth, then it should be 0.667. I wish it was 0.667, but... Oh, well. All right, Fernando. Why are you first at bat? You don't seem to be a very good player. I never get tired of that spot box reference. Open always leads to fouls, it seems. Well, again, my theory is that your batting stance determines what parts of the strike zone you can hit. And then how early or how late you swing determines whether it goes to the left or to the right. That's that's my personal theory. Regrettably, I can't do a whole lot for the timing of the swing on my part. I know I theoretically can, I'm just bad at it. Veronica, eh? Alright, well. She's got the same batting average as Mr. Wheeler, so... All right, that was a nice line drive, Veronica. Pablo for crying out loud! Everybody jump on. That was embarrassing. That was truly embarrassing. Why does Pablo suck at fielding so much? They say he's a four. He is a two at best. The best I can say about Pablo's fielding, at least if... Jorge? Jorge, you, you deliberately jumped out of the way. That's okay, we got an excellent double play. Alright, well at least Keisha's doing well in the outfield. Jorge like saw the ball coming, he's like, I'm not breaking my ribs today for that! Ran off. Alright, Keisha, Dimitri, Tony. Good lineup. Is it sad that, like, the weakest of these three is probably Keisha? Keisha, that is also an unfortunate batting average that we must fix. I feel like Keisha gets out the most out of... Well, no, Tony gets out the most. That's the thing. Keisha either hits it out of the park or she doesn't hit it at all. But she's still got a single. It's a nice job, Keisha. Nice job. Jorge's having a bad day. I moved, I moved him down the batting lineup on purpose. All right, it's time for Mr. Consistent, even though he has a lower batting average than the last few batters. I've scouted out this pitcher, so I know what throws are coming. But Dimitri's got to do it for the math nerds. From the stretch and the pitch. A swing it looks like the computer player is starting to use my strategy of pitching low and inside. I don't like that. The stretch and the offering. Oh, uh, that's a foul. Whoops. Slice. They almost caught that, Dimitri. That would have been bad. Runner on first with nobody out. If you mention broken ladders now, one more time. Swinging. Whoops. Slice. I want to make it for the season without having to turn off chatter, but... Hey, Mobius, welcome. Here's the pitch. It's going very well today. Ooh, that's a nice hit, Dimitri. Not a home run. Oh, wait. No, go back, Keisha. Go back. They're going to catch it. And the runner tag. 
You know, there's some, there's some there's some solace in knowing that they never drop the ball. The Sox dropped it a lot, but none of the other teams ever do. All right, everyone's favorite. It's time for Master Tony. Here's the pitch. The wing. Nice horizontal hit. And it goes foul. And she goes down. I don't know why we even had to wait for that to be called. Hey, batter, batter, batter. Wing. Takes the stretch. Oh, batter, cuts to the plate. Ball so, one. What a waste of good spit. Batter, batter, batter. Come on now. You you can't spit on the ball. That's the stretch, gotta be illegal. Batter, batter, batter. The wing. That's a foul. They're just using all the... They're, they're terrified of Tony. That's why they're using all the special pitches now. Okay, Tony, you, you're putting the muscle into it, but you got to stop fouling. Should not have sworn. I realized. I saw too late that it was outside the strike zone. That's okay, Tony. That was my bad. That's some arm she's got to make the ball zigzag like that. She's she's pulling an owl from the Winnie the Pooh home run derby. <laughs> With enough practice, you too can make the ball zigzag. Hashtag not really. Oh, again, it's Jorge. When it looks like you smack it out of the park, you barely even make it to the outfield. Into the windup. Here's the pitch. Swung on. And a foul ball. And the count is 0 and 2. Will I ever stream Winnie the Pooh's home run derby? She is ready. I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's not something that I've got high up on my priority list. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I would do a one off stream of that. And the throw. Swing. Sliced it. 0 and 2. <sighs> it's the battle of the players who don't actually hit the From ball. The they just foul it. it. I had to try. Too late. I think they are picking on me because of my glasses. How is Colleen not had? Okay, I'm sorry. The computer players are cheating. Because Colleen has thrown like eight special pitches that inning, and she's not tired. When I throw a special pitch, it drains like a quarter of my juice box. Like but her and her strike zone shadows were still and pretty small. Oh, Mobius, you're going to play Mario Odyssey for the first time tonight? That's a really good game. That is a really good game. Definitely one of the best 3D Mario games. I know, it's a little risky hitting, throwing the heat, but I think the speed will, you know. No, nope, at least the only foul of it. All right, fine, fine. Right hook, low and inside again. That, oh, that, Melo, that is possible. I didn't think about that. It, they could have had a juice box that I just, and they used it and I just didn't see. They still threw a whole bunch of special pitches that inning, though. So even with the juice box, she should still be pretty tired. All right, well, he lasted a long time. Horace Young, you look exactly like Fernando Diaz. Maybe not. No, they can't be twins. Different last Ball names. Swing, batter, batter. I'm honestly She's cool dead. with the computer right. players getting all these special pitch. All of the Blue special step. pitches. Okay, Ready Jorge. Now. Let's go. Blue. Blue. Neat play. Jorge. Start over. Easy play for her. Wings it. Keisha, are you kidding me right now? You're supposed to have the really good arm, and that was. That was like a wimpy throw. You're holding out for a remake of Kirby Air Ride or Kirby Air Ride 2? I would be all over that. Kirby Air Ride is an amazing game. That's a really good game. One of the most underrated racing games because it's just, it's very different from other racing games. But they better have City Trial in it. That's the best one. They were planning on making a Kirby Air Ride 2 for the Wii when it was first coming out, but it got cancelled because apparently Kirby Air Ride wasn't popular enough. Oh, it's Colleen. Oh, she's the pitcher. She's Okay, she's gonna be slow. 
She is going to be very slow, so even if she hits the ball, we're going to get her out easily. Unless she hits it out of the park, which is a possibility. Okay, she's hitting it open. We're going to throw it on the right side, so it's going to be harder for her to hit. One on. That's a foul. Oh and two. Here's the wind up. The pitch. That was ball one. One and two. Here goes nothing. Fine. Bone inside. The wing. Why? What? That is literally the stupidest thing you could have done. You bunted when you're that slow and tired. That they were trying to get out. They just didn't want to get a strike out. That was literally the stupidest thing they could have done. Time for a home run. All right, just you used your last work paycheck to re-own Kirby Air Ride. That's an expensive game to own, but it's definitely a fun one to own. She kicked the pitch. A swing. Okay, solid hit. Is it gonna land? Apparently it landed, but it ain't gonna matter. And it's a long walk. Back to the dugout. And I can't even blame Jocinda's speed on that because they would have they would have taken like a peat wheel in order to get to the base in time. Here goes nothing. All right, Lisa. Here's the windup and delivered. Uh, no. Nope. Low and outside, one out. Not my style. We're gonna wait for one that's a little better. From the windup, the pitch. Okay, that was again not a line drive, that was a grounder. And that's an out. Alright, we're gonna try to power with Pete. We kinda need to score soon. Uh, what am I supposed to do again? Clobber the ball with all of your might, Pete, and try not to foul it. Here's the pitch. Back. Well, that was a foul, and it was not clobbered to fall over your might. Good job, Pete. You disobeyed both of my commands. Into the wind -up. Here's the pitch. The wing. A bounce Get on base. Ball. Get on base. Get on base! We get a special bat. Oh, this is going to be good. Next up. Oh man, what's our special bat going to be? Okay, pitcher, give me one right over the center. Okay, we haven't gotten the sweet screaming line drive before. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it now. The target goes up. The delivery. Watch your ears. It's a screaming line drive. That was a little lackluster. To be perfectly honest. Kenny, you stay. Pete. Pete, you can shoot. Uh, nope, nope. Nope, nope. Pete. Pete. Go freak. What the heck? All you can do is try your hardest. I told Pete, I was clicking on Pete to go back. I literally clicked ten times, and every single one of them dropped. What the heck? Halfway through the inning now, one left on. Scoreless game so far, folks. What was that? Jim Kiley stepped up to bat. It just dropped ten clicks in a row. Into the windup and the I, I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. Tony, 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 take the rocks out of your pockets, Tony. Two bases on a ground rule double. Karen Donato steps up to bat. I think this young hitter can get the job done. The coach calls time out. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put Tony as the catcher, because if the ball gets hit to him in the outfield, he is useless. Tony as the catcher, I think, couldn't work well, because he has a very good arm, which will help him throw to the different bases. Lisa's tired, so I'm putting Kenny as the pitcher, and I'm going to put Pablo in the outfield, because he pretty much drops everything in the infield anyways, so why the heck not? And yeah. Kenny Kawaguchi up on the okay, mound. let's hope that this works a little better. Does Pete not following directions happen on occasion? Is that a quirk of his? If it is, I haven't noticed it before. I mean, that would kind of fit in with his personality, where he's not the brightest. 
Goes for the diving catch. Didn't quite Keisha. make it. Safe one. Over to second. On to if they score, oh, no. it's that not the end of the world because we always have an maneuver. extra game. Fernando Diaz steps up to bat. Trying to get something for the team. You like how Kenny's wheelchair spins when he throws. And the offering. Yeah. Strike one. Nice one. That's what I like to see. Well, this is not good. They actually have a lot of people on base because they've gotten some really good hits. Another strike. Low and away. That kid's thinking out there on the mound. Great idea to There's backyard baseball in the GameCube. I did not even know that. Nobody out. From the stretch, pitch on the way. probably has enhanced graphics, which makes it worse. Okay. Um, just don't let him get home. Don't let him get home. Throw that Tony. Yes. Yes. That is why I put Tony as the catcher. Because <laughs> Tony has got an arm on him. He just he can't move. He ate too many hot fudge sundaes. He can't move. But... <laughs> <laughs> he has an arm. And we got the person that was on third base out. And that's what I wanted. I don't care if we have one on first and one on second. I'd much rather have one on first and one on second than a single person on third. Tony, you can't even say that anymore because you at least have to catch the ball from now on. All right. Again, I, I wish I could see her batting stat. Because if, if she was a good batter, I would have thrown a big freeze. Okay, she's pretty good at batting. We're going for big threes, big cheese. Runners on first and second, one out. Stop shaking your head. Say yes, Kenny. I just want to hear you say yes. Yeah, yeah, get Veronica out. If she, because if she got a home run, there's a good chance I would not be able to catch up. Yeah, get out of here, Veronica. Nikki Winston steps up to bat. He's the kind of kid who's just waiting for the heat. Okay, don't pitch the heat to Nikki Winston. Oh yeah, Kenny. Kenny's hooks leave a lot to be desired. There, I just want to say, okay. Dimitri, grab the ball. Just get this kid out, and that's inning. Nice job, Dimitri. Nice job. Okay, whew. I can breathe a sigh of relief. Now we've got three of our best batters up next. game so far, folks. The All-Stars are really giving them the business, but they're giving it right back. What a game! That inning was too close for my comfort level. Yo soy Pablo Sanchez. Hit it to La Luna. Come on, pitch it to the right side. And the offering. Oh man. It's going up the right field. If that line, wasn't foul, that would have been out of there. It's okay, Pablo. I appreciate the strength. No out. She kicks. Pitch on the way. The swing. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that is gone. That is gone. How far is that going to go? Holy cow. Make way for the Backyard Baseball National Anthem. 529. That's, that's quite a distance. <laughs> I still contend that is the most epic theme. That's the most epic music in the game. I, I know people really like Ahmed Khan's theme song as well, and it definitely is good, but Pablo is just, it's epic like none other. Dang, Keisha, with that batting average. Pablo and Tony are two of the four kids that were in all of the games. I did not know that. She kicked, she delivered. Makes sense, at least for Pablo. Pablo is the most iconic character in this series. I remember, I, I, I want to say it was starting backyard skateboarding, like they removed a lot of the kids from the games, and they removed some of like the weird ones. Like they, they kept Amir Khan, but they uh, removed Ahmed Khan, which is weird because Ahmed's like one of the most iconic characters again. And like they kept in Marky Du Bois, but like le uh, left out some of like the other characters. It's a strange decision. I've determined the optimum swing based on current atmospheric conditions and the relative strength. Guys, and remember the good old days when Dimitri had a 1.0 batting average? That was so fun. The stretch. She delivers. Swinging. 
Oh, bar. Bouncing ball. That was a slow roller. Did that? Nope. That bat. guy's got a rocket. Ooh, that's not what we're looking Rats. for. Next batter, Oh, a point, a, a point seven five batting what average can eat, definitely happen with only four at bats. Okay, that's that's fair. All right, Tony. Here's the wind up and the delivery. I pr I should have just let that. I should have just let that run its course and not swing. a long walk back to the dugout. That was my bad. Because even if even if that was a strike, I wouldn't have been able to get a home run off of it. And if Tony don't get a home run, Tony don't get on base. Up by one. All right, we, we got Frankie, Horace, right and Nancy Chin. Frankie Holly steps up to bat. All right, all right, all right, all right. Good job, Kenny. I really appreciate out. you subbing in for Lisa, but we're gonna bring Lisa back because We've got Lisa Crockett actually she doesn't have as much juice as I thought. Here's the pitch. The swing. That's a foul. Nobody out. Into the motion and delivered. Swung on, a bouncing ball. I was kind of hoping Lisa would have gotten a juice refill between out. innings, but that yeah, was too much Ready to ask for. Hitting delivered. closed, good luck hitting this. Yeah. I would love to get some 110% juice, please. I don't need any of these stinky pitches like the silly ball or the spit ball. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. All right. I'll save that for the end of the inning. A pitcher with a good right hook is an asset to any team. From the stretch and the throw. I'm going to give Lisa the juice refill right before the inning is over because she's going to be up at bat pretty soon and she definitely needs she definitely needs some hydration. All right, Dimitri, that's all you. Boom. You ain't getting a pass, Dimitri. Nancy Chin steps up to bat. This young batter means business. I know it, it, it might it might be smarter to wait, but no, I, I want the juice refill now. It's my juice, and I want it now. All right, Dimitri. Got it. Another easy play. <laughs> Let's watch the instant replay of Dimitri waddling over to the ball and touching the base. The All Stars are shining bright tonight. Remember that two-handed bat. We do. We do, Vinny. Watch that outfield cringe as I step up to the plate. Jorge, if they're cringing, it's not because they're afraid of you. You've got a 0.0, .0 batting average. Takes the stretch and delivered. Swung on. Okay, that's a pop fly that they're probably going to catch. No, they dropped it. No, okay, Jorge, you still honestly kind of just barely got the first. You are very slow. He, he is slower than I remember. I remember casually being, like him being average speed. He is definitely a slow character. All right, Jacinda. Into the motion, the delivery. Foul ball. Oops, the wheels fell off. Okay, if they caught that, I would have been annoyed. <laughs> Kick, Rose it. Swing. Really? Really, Jacinda? A bouncing ball. No, go back, oh, Jorge. Watch your kneecaps on those tails. Oh. And he's out. Are you kidding? Wait. A long walk what? To the dugout. She's out of there. Okay. I apparently I don't understand the rules of baseball. How did that work? He was safe on first. How did he get out? They should have had to tag uh, Jacinda out because she had Give nowhere to go. I can hit. I've never seen that before. I'm probably just ignorant of the rules of baseball, though. The target goes up and the pitch. Swung on. Slice it. Actually, you know what? Screw this. We're hitting power with Lisa because you know what? We got literally no reason not to. The swing. Look. I would it would it would amuse me to no end if Lisa Crockett was able to hit a home run. He has to advance to second, okay. I thought if he was on A base then he was safe. Let's see that play. 
try again. Well, all right then. That happened. We need the fastest runner out there, which is great as long as he's headed the right way. It's not even a brain fart. It's just I did not know the rules. I'm gonna hit a touchdown. I have never seen that situation before. A blooper in foul territory. Runner on I would first. love to get another yeah. special bat, as a matter of fact, yes. So also, can we just acknowledge that Jocinda has got to be like one of the slowest people in the game? I'm not swinging. That was a ball. Jocinda has literally got to be one of the slowest characters in the game. It took her like 15 seconds to get the first base. Into the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. The swing, foul. <sighs> Why do my characters foul every ball? Like five times before they actually can get a hit. The wind up, throws it. The swing, well, batter, batter, batter. a bouncing ball. That's that an out. Blue person, I'm running. Apparently it's not an out because I gave Lisa the juice box. Unfortunately, Kenny's up next, and this is where our luck runs out. Unless... Kenny's a natural athlete and has the best eye on the team. Here I go. Kenny, I'm not even asking you to get a home run, but holy cow, if you can get to first... Pablo Sanchez could get a grand slam. Strike one. Runners on first and second, two out. I could try to hit a line drive. He's ready. Cut to the plate. No. That was ball one. One and one. You know what? Maybe they'll walk Kenny. Maybe they'll walk Kenny. Takes her stretch. Cut to the plate. Ball two. Two and one. I'm even comparing Jocinda to the likes of like Mikey Thomas, who is a one at running. From the stretch, cuts to the plate. Are they gonna All walk? Three, three and one. Are they seriously going to walk, Mr. Kawaguchi? That is literally the stupidest thing that they could do. Pitch on the way. Another Darn it. strike. Anytime you get that second strike on you. All right, full count, two outs, two on base. If they walk him, this will be amazing. She's set. Pitch on the way. A swing. Okay, that's a nice... No, that's a pop fly. They're going to catch that. All right, good and inning. I should have tried for a line drive. I just... I wanted to try for that home run with Kenny. It was too good of an opportunity to pass up, and I want ahead anyways, so... I, I, I tried to go for the swag, to be fair. It would have made the game really interesting. And I, I, I really want to see Kenny hit a home run, because his home run music is epic. Directly one. Now's a good time for a snowball. An impressive Alrighty. Slips right in right hook. No. Snowball it is. One on. Foul ball. I, I want to say either Mikey Thomas is the slowest character in the game, or maybe Marky Du Bois. They're both. They are both extraordinarily slow. Straight down the middle. Straight to good first. one. That's it for her. Him and apparently the reason Marky is so slow is because they try to justify like, oh, he's not wearing shoes. Like, you can still run really fast barefoot. I mean, I get it if he didn't want to run barefoot really fast in the dirt yards, but, like, this is it's the park's department. It's, it's perfectly fine. Stop, stop praising Lisa for the same pitches every time. There we go. Really, Vinny? Really? Dang, Pete Wheeler! Holy cow! Karen Donato steps up to bat. This young guy means Dang. Wow, that was impressive, Pete. You know what, Pete? The delivery. You, I'd say that you. Well, no, that doesn't quite redeem him. Oh, disobeying me ten times in a row, but. Nice, Joseph. Nice arm. Nice arm. Nice arm. That was an impressive inning, folks. A, a plus feeling. A plus feeling. The All Stars winning. Up Wait, is that true? Marky Du Bois causes Billie Jean Blackwood to have a bad day. Is that actually true? Mándame una buena. Swing. She is ready. The pitch. The right one. Really? Nobody out. That is a strike. That is in the very corner, but okay. The stretch cuts to the plate. That was ball one, and the count is one and one. Marky has a crush on her, but Billie Jean hates him. I did not know that. She kicked the one-one pitch. Okay, Pablo. That uh, well, you've had you've had better innings. You almost made it to first.
we've still got a chance to score in this inning. Keisha Phillips, turn it back. Even if we don't score in the inning, Vinny, we're... I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with where we are. If we're ahead, I'm happy. If we're tied, I'm pretty happy. If we're behind, that's bad. Ready now. He delivers. Okay. That dog will hunt. That's gonna be an out. Oh. Yeah, dog on it. Keisha always hits like grounders. I feel like one third of the time she hits a grounder, one third of the time she hits a pop fly that gets caught, and like one third of the time she gets a home run. I've determined the optimum swing. Which sounds good on paper, but honestly, I don't really like those odds because she gets out two thirds of the time. From the windup and the pitch. Swung on. That's a foul. Two out. Now pitching. Do some do some characters just naturally foul way easier than others? Because I feel like that's the case. And delivered. Is that a home run? That is indeed a home run! Nice job, Dimitri! <laughs> I always wondered if they were going to count that as a ground rule double, because they technically hit the fence. But apparently that doesn't count as the ground. <laughs> I got the mathematical formula for exactly how hard I needed to hit the ball in order to instruct the run. Dang, that was 545 despite it hitting the fence. Oh boy, Master Tony Jedi, <laughs> the Jedi, is up. For, it's my last at bat. He's zero for two today, but we know that Tony definitely likes to uh, wow us. 545 even better than Pablo. I'm not swinging at that. I was literally touching the plate. If they walk Tony, I'll be disappointed. That'll be annoying. Takes the stretch and the delivery. A swing. Looped up. Darn it, Tony. I was honestly thinking he was going to get out. I was thinking he was going to be so slow he wouldn't make it to base. Okay, well, great. He's on first, and now Jorge is up. He's my last at bat, and I'm pretty sure he will be the last at bat. That was that was more like Padawan Tony, not Master Tony. But here's the motion. Here's the pitch. Low ball one. All right. I I also would love to hit a home run with Jorge because I his music is very classy as well. The wind up fires. Swing. Swing. Okay, that seems solid, but again, that's barely going to reach the outfield, and that's going to get caught. No, it's not! Tony, go to third. Jorge, stay at second. She's going to play it off the wall. Makes it! Safe on third. I'm not going home with Tony. That would have been a terrible mistake. Okay, well, Jocinda's up next. This could go well. But probably not. Okay, so Jocinda's my last dad back. All right, Jocinda. You've got the power. From the windup, pitch on the way, a swing, a bouncing ball. That little blooper. You know what, Tony? You might as well try running. Home. Darn it! I was hoping I could bait them with Tony, but no, they're they're too smart for that. That's fine. That's fine. That was a good inning. We got an extra point. Best hit that Jorge has ever made. I've been able to hit home runs with decent consistency with Jorge, not this season, obviously, but like just in casual play. Then again, all of this is just hearsay because I haven't been able to prove it on stream. All right, we're two points up. It's bottom of the six. We're good. There would have to be some spectacular amounts of cheese in order for them to be able to catch up now. Yeah, that was a gorgeous hit by Jorge. Another strike, and the count is 0 and 2. Let's heat. Let's Ready use now. the heat. Right to Jocinda. I appreciate Jocinda's got a good arm. I just realized, actually, everyone in the infield now has a good arm. Something for the team. Which is... Like, From especially if Tony is the catcher, like, oh man, he's going to be able to throw it anywhere. Honestly, I think Tony as catcher can be in a, a new permanent position for him. 
I only kept him in the left field because it was funny that he had never done anything there. Boom! <laughs> Kenny caught it in a wheelchair, and the wheelchair wasn't even facing the ball. That's how much of a boss he is. All right. Lisa, let's finish the game. The swing, the right club, gave him the right hook. Slip, slide, and right hook. What a beauty. Two out. How big is this? Uh, yeah, we'll throw it zigzag. The right two. Nice one. That's what I like to see. It's big and it's bad. A gutsy pitch. And I'll bet you, even the pitcher was wondering where it would end up. And the count is 0-2. All right. Get him out. Here's the pitch. Get him out. Nice job, Lisa. We're going to get you a six-pack of juice uh, as a reward. And that's the playoffs. We won the playoffs, and we get the pennant. The All-Stars are champions of the city. Two, two, woo -woo. zero. Unbelievable. Way to go. What a moment, folks. This is one for the memory books. These kids are now champions of the city and ready to move on to the Super Entire Nation Tournament. This is Sunny Day and Vinny the Cooch saying see you next time. Oh yeah! We are the winners! If we go back to the dugout, we win! Coach Artie leads the All-Stars to victory. We come through a lot of uh, adversity this season, but we stuck together as a team, said Keisha Phillips, the All-Stars co-captain. She is not the co-captain. The fans are the real winners here, said Tony Delvecchio, choking back the tears. <laughs> oh, Tony. <laughs> I was just trying to picture that. He's like, yeah, the fans are the real winners. <laughs> Tony's really grown this season, let's be honest. I don't remember making Keisha the co-captain. Okay, so I'm the coach. Pablo is obviously the captain. Who would be the co-captain? Honestly, I would probably put like, Dimitri as the co-captain. He's been pretty great this whole season. Or Lisa. Oh, yeah. So if we go to the schedule... Oh, Dane! This is a fancy schedule. The Ultra Grand Championship of the Universe. I thought this was just Little League Baseball, but no, we get to rule the universe if we win. All right, the Super Entire Nation Tournament. We have zero wins, so first up, Reds gets the Crunchy Cookies. Dane! Oh, that's a great name. And then on the other bracket, there's the Inky Squids and the Tasty Cheeses. These are some interesting teams that we cannot actually make in this game. Dane. You saw an interesting theory of the generic players. Do do enlighten me, Prince Dust. I'm 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 listening and intrigued. So it looks like there's gonna be one game between me and the cookies. We gotta win that. And then we win whoever wins this bracket. I'm not sure if it's gonna be best of three on each side or if it's just first one to win. And then whoever wins takes home this trophy for the series winners and become the rulers of the universe. The generic, the local kids that look generic to, uh, to the backyard characters because they've never seen them before. Hmm. Huh. Malice is best two of three here, then the grand final series is the best three of five. And this, fi and this stage of the tournament has a brand new field with a much bigger fan capacity. Ooh, finally we move off of the parks department. I mean, nothing against the Parks Department, it's like, it's fine, it's it's a very average field, but I got sick of playing on it. Oh man, we're gonna have to really bring our A-game next time, folks, because we're up against the Cookies, and the Cookies ain't gonna be so sweet to us, I'm pretty sure. I hope we go against the Cheeses. The Squids, the Squids need to go home. They stink. <laughs> All right. That was a good game. I, I was kind of hoping for a little more than two points, but we won decisively. And that's enough to take us to the Grand Championships. Excellent. So, next Backyard Baseball stream will be Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will do a Monday and a Wednesday stream. And then again, if we end up having to go to Game 3, we'll do a Friday stream. As for the Grand Finals, assuming we make it there, where it's best of five, I'm not really sure what we'll do there. Maybe we'll try to do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday stream. And ideally, we could win all three of those and finish out the season in just next week. Or not next week, two weeks from now. We'll play that by year. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. And I hope to see you guys for more excitement when we take on the Grand Championship next tournament.
until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.